¿Te gusta el chisme? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Cheese Report. I'm your host, Danny Flores. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that little button right next to it. That way, you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to like and comment down below. Guys, what's good? Welcome back to a brand new Cheese Report. Today's report is actually brought to you by Shyla. We're going to be talking about Landon. We're going to be talking about Myra's gender reveal because, guys, actually, a lot of things came out over this weekend and it's kind of juicy. But before we get into it, go get your snacks, come back, sit back, and relax. For our first story of the day, we're going to be touching up on Shyla, guys, because it, a lot of people were speculating that she has a new mans or whatever, but this is all happening because she actually posted an Instagram story with another dude sitting next to her, but I honestly think, guys, it's just a friend. I know, I know, a lot of people think that, you know, it might be a new boyfriend, a new guy. Well, I'm saying he's just a friend because, honestly, I don't think Shyla's that type of girl that would move on really quick. She still has a lot of healing to do after her situation because she was in court she was like fighting over the daughter she was you know fighting and basically all the mcbrooms but people are saying that's her new man but guys i don't think it's a new man basically this picture just seems like a friend vibe if you see it they're just sitting looking at pictures screenshots on the floor which i try to look at the screenshots what are they trying to say what are they trying to tell us but honestly it's just too blurry and it just looks like a friend vibe guys but talking about Shyla let's touch a little bit on Landon because Landon actually posted a picture that got everyone hyped everyone kind of confused he posted a picture of a purse and the caption read a token and basically everyone was saying that oh my gosh this is a gift for Shyla because Shyla dropped the charges on him blah 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 and I was like damn y'all have good ass theories because these theories make me do videos for y'all but anyways I don't think this is a situation right now for all i know he could give this purse to his mom no it could be a person for a friend we all know landon has good relationship advice so i don't think it's for shyla uh, it is a nice purse and people were saying damn that shyla does love purses but if it was for shyla damn that's hella got so that's hella messed up but according to my calculations me making my own calculation this is not for shyla uh i don't think shyla would accept anything from that man just maybe some stuff for her daughter for their daughter i mean people were also saying oh my god he got this purse instead of money because a lot of people were speculating that since Shyla dropped the charges she is getting allegedly she's getting a big bag out of the McBrooms but like I said guys the McBrooms right now don't have money because they're allegedly getting sued over for over 130 million so I don't think that situation is like or that theory is working right now if this was the case that's hella shady um Shyla probably like said you know what get me my bag whatever blah 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 but I don't think this is the case guys and like I said once again this purse could be a gift to a loved one of Landon as such as his mom or maybe a new girl he's talking to we don't know that's all I have on Landon and Shyla but for our second story of the day you guys have been waiting for this story guys because I've honestly been waiting for this story over the weekend we're gonna be talking about this whole Mara Garcia gender reveal situation because over the weekend uh, her video actually came out her gender reveal actually came out and when I saw it I was like damn like someone messed up someone definitely messed up but before for that um you know someone i guess she's an ig model by the name of graciela montes uh she actually said she has a footage of who popped the actual popper hey guys so apparently i'm the only person that did get footage of who was the person who popped the popper at myra and brian's gender reveal and it really saddens me the fact that i'm the person who's gonna basically expose this person um and not because i didn't want to but because she came out in the in our footage and it's the only footage we do have of the gender reveal obviously we were like filming that day but what really pisses me off and has me at confusion is why myra still hasn't received uh an apology she expressed on instagram how horrible she felt because of the situation and it's crazy how you know um at this point she still hasn't heard from this person um so yeah, I will be putting the video up on my YouTube channel later today. So um, yeah, that's all. Not just that, you guys, but there's been like a grip load of people that have been getting blamed for it on social media and that ha they have been getting attacked and I feel it's not fair. And you know, I feel it's not okay either to attack the person that did it uh, once you guys do find out who it was. Um, but I do feel like they should take accountability for it and at least apologize.
and she was gonna expose this person because you know she was not trying to expose her on purpose but that's the only footage they had and you know she was gonna put it out there but she didn't even put the video out um, I guess she regretted it because she actually deleted her whole Instagram stories and someone did have a freaking fault in this situation but it wasn't the person that actually popped the thing I'll show you the clip right now and you guys tell me what do you think of this situation <laughs> Everybody be careful with your poppers, please. It's gonna be blue, watch. Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Uh -oh. Mama needs to be careful. She's over there like... Woo! Be careful. Okay. Myra! Alright, ladies. In the moment, we have all been waiting for this. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. When I saw this clip, I was like, who hired this MC? Who hired this DJ? I would have fired her on the spot. People were blaming the person that actually popped the popper way before. But like, who does a countdown for a freaking countdown? Like, honestly. After Myra and her man actually uploaded this video, Myra actually commented. She had a pinned comment on the video and said this. Hi guys, so we like to clarify, we now realize the entire countdown was a mess. In the moment, I spoke out of disappointment. After working on this vlog, I truly realized why the mistake was made. I take full accountability for bringing light to this without putting two and two together. I like it, we can please stop asking who the popper was. It was definitely not intentional. So Myra apologized saying, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't like, I understand in the moment she doesn't know what's going on because her heart's beating, everyone's like excited, and she maybe thought the person did on purpose or they weren't paying attention but in reality it was a freaking dj that said one two three to start a freaking countdown from 10. i'm glad she apologized and she acknowledged it because some people some youtubers wouldn't acknowledge it they would just let it go and say oh it is what it is i said this already i'm not gonna say sorry because maybe the person um already feels bad about it but guys this person that popped the popper we don't know who it is yet right but people were actually accusing other people of saying, you know what, you're the one that popped it. I forgot who they mentioned, but they actually went after a girl that was at the gender reveal and they were like harassing her saying, oh my God, why would he pop the popper, blah, blah, blah. But now we know it wasn't her because it actually came out. I think it was someone's sister. I, I totally forgot the name. If you guys remember, comment down below, but it was someone's sister that they were going after. And honestly, it wasn't her, it was like, at this point, I'm saying it's the DJ's fault because like I said, one, two, three, what? The video came out well, like it, I mean, obviously it sucks that someone popped it way before. And you know, there was also those rude comments or like people going after Myra because she didn't know the situation. Myra was in the mood of popping, like getting ready for a gender, gender reveal. Everyone stop blaming the popper or people that are assuming the popper was. Uh, just blame the DJ at this point because the DJ is a hundred percent fault. Like, I don't know what was going on in the DJ's head. Like, I don't know. But guys, this is all I have for the Cheese Mary Report. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing, for liking the video. And once again, if you guys don't comment, make sure to comment something like, uh, let's comment water bottle. I don't know. If you made it through the end of the video, comment water bottle. So I know you guys watched the video all the way through. But thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, make sure to follow Instagram, blah, blah, blah. You already know. But thank you guys. I'm Danny and I'm out. Peace. Oh.